Ooh. Oh, come on, baby. Get out of the crap. Get out of the crap. Ask me that question again. We're just slowly working it towards the pipe. First cast, baby. <gasps> Holy shit. Welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing, Catch Everything Outdoors. This is the story of my life. On this channel, we like to promote having fun outdoors, fishing, traveling, family, and that's what it's all about. So there's a lot of crap going on in my life right now. Um, the main thing happening is knee surgery. I, I play soccer and I'm getting a little bit older and my knees just aren't as strong as they used to be. I tore my meniscus a long time ago. Um, and then just recently I tore my MCL on my right leg and now I strained the MCL on my left leg, but I also tore the meniscus pretty bad. So I'm going in uh, next Tuesday for uh, knee surgery just to trim the meniscus so I can get back out in the field and keep playing and to get out in the, the canals and fish and stuff because the terrain is all off, you know, and it just every step is like a crooked step. So it's hard for me to uh, do that without my knee like swelling up and stuff. So. Uh, I've been dealing with that for a few months now, and it's just time I gotta, I gotta get in and just get it taken care of. So I got Dr. Cal back down here in South Miami, who's going to uh, perform the surgery. Uh, they've worked on my sister and my my niece and everyone. Um, I think even my mom. So uh, I know they do a good job, but I'm still getting out doing a bunch of fishing for you guys. But here, here's a little bit of just what's been going on from the doctor's visits to to fishing with friends. Like I said, that's what this channel is about, fishing and living life. So in the first clip, my buddy Joey, he wanted to catch his very first snook. So I said, you know what? Let's put you on your first snook. So I took him around the corner from where we live, and this is what happened. Check it out. All right, we don't want a peacock. First cast, down there in the middle. Middle? Yeah, right down the middle. All right, this is the first cast of the day. I don't even have my uh, rod in my hand. Not my fishing rod, at least. Um, and then slowly bring it towards the pipe. Slower. Nah, you're good, you're good. You're gonna wanna bring it right in this area right here as it starts to get into the shadows. So in South Florida, we got a lot of culverts and pipes and stuff. And I love just bouncing from pipe to pipe, dangling a bait or a lure in front of it. Because when there's water moving through the pipes, I mean, if it's stagnant, you're probably not gonna get too much. But if there is moving water through the pipes, there's a good chance that there might be a predatory fish sitting there waiting to ambush something. All right, you're getting into the strike zone now. That'd be nice for the first cast. That would be crazy. Guys, can we get one on the first cast? We're just reeling it in, he casts it down, and we're just slowly working it towards the pipe. Now, when you get right in here, just let it drop and swim naturally. Yeah, about 10 feet from the opening. Keep in mind, this is still the first cast. I know it's been a minute, he's going really slow, but you know what? I think it works out. Yeah, just let it sit there for a minute, I see it. Give it a little twitch, okay. Oh, whatever it is, it's a fish. Yeah. You're on, no? You might want to walk down there. Hey! Hey! First cast, baby! You didn't even know he took it. A little gentle, gentle snook. 
All right, first cast of the day. I like it. Well, we already got his PB snook. For real. Oh, shit. Just like that. Now he has to land it. And we got six pounds here, man. You want me to hold your rod? Yeah. I'll hold use your little that, rod use here. That, use a little rod, yeah. Yeah. Look at this thing, man. Nice. Look at that. Brian, you put me on my PB snook, bro. There we go. Time to let this bad boy go. He'll hold your thumb until he's ready. Yeah, he is. Yeah, as soon as he's ready, he'll like un stop biting yeah. and kick off. So just just stick your thumb out now. Oh, he bit me. Yeah, yeah. See, that's how you don't even have to hold his lip. No. He'll let go as soon as he's ready. There he goes. Beautiful See? Beautiful fish, bro. Yeah. Nah. Thanks, brother. No problem, man. PB snook. PB snook. <laughs> I'm trying to do bait caster with one hand on a lure. It was fun, man. It's always nice hanging out with friends. Joey got his first snook. We continued throughout the day. We caught a bunch of fish. But at the end of the day, sometimes you just got to relax and unwind. So I decided to enjoy some nice weather outside with the wife. So you can never go wrong with nice weather, a fire, good food, and some good drinks. Sometimes you just got to relax in the evening, have a little uh, sip of a drink. I think she had a couple sips of the drink, um, you know, and enjoy, enjoy life. Got some burgers on the grill. Got to put that double cheese though, you know, double cheese and grilling the, uh, the buns. That's key. It makes it taste delicious for whatever reason. It's nice and cool today. So in Miami, we don't get to enjoy this weather that much. So uh, going to have a little dinner outside, even though it's burgers, it can still be romantic, right? It's romantic. Yeah. Even with you laying like that. How you doing? Got the little fire going. Long day at work? Yes. Tomorrow it's time to head to the doctor to get my knee checked out. Some of y'all probably don't know this, but I am a soccer player, or as some countries like to say, the football. But Unfortunately, with playing sports comes injuries, and those of you who kind of follow my content on social media and stuff know that literally I, I tore my MCL a little while back, then I fractured my shoulder, then I tore my calf muscle, and now I've done something to my knee, so I'm on my way to go see a specialist to, uh, to see if I need surgery or not. Gotta love Miami traffic, almost stand still doing some kind of construction should have taken the metro rail in here here and on the back side so i guess we'll find out what's going on and yes i know i have hairy legs so the bones look good so that leaves only one thing soft tissue damage so i got an mri coming definitely definitely meniscus damage i already know that i just think i made it worse but i might have a torn ligament somewhere too so Yay. You know, after the doctor's appointment, I, I gotta treat myself to some Smoothie King. My favorite, the Strawberry Hulk. Lots of calories, lots of protein. And that only means one thing, it's time to hit the gym. Fishing season is upon us and it is time to get ready for those big hook sets. So Miami is infested with all types of exotic fish and this is no different. This is a Jaguar Gupote. I cast it out my lure, let it drop along the uh, edge of the canal right off the drop off. And when I hit the bottom, I just kind of real pop, real pop. And it just smoked the lure. So check it out. It's my Jaguar Gapote. There you go. Oh, 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 what is it? I don't know, let's see. What is that? That's a toad, bro. Oh, that's, that's, a a, that, that's a jag. That's a jaguar that's one, bro. Jaguar. Holy. Go, 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 go. I got you. I got you. I go. I go land it for you. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. I got you. Yeah, I can't flip it on this. No, 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 no. Dude. Oh my goodness, bro. Dude, this is a fat one. Whoa. Guys, look at this. Oh my, look at that size of that jack, bro. Good job, dude. Yeah, right here. 
Oh, you see? getting a picture of me or the fish? No, you, you. Get a close up of the fish so it's nice and crispy. For those of you who've never got an MRI, all you do is sit there for like 30 minutes. You can't move, you can't do nothing, it's fun. Good times, but we're almost done and I'm about to go fishing. All right, I just broke the fucking handle on my truck. So yeah, it wasn't such a great day for me to go fishing. It started off right off the rip bad because I forgot to unlock the tailgate of my truck. When I tried to open it, I literally just broke the handle off in my hand. And I still haven't replaced it yet. The part is waiting at the, the shop for me. I just haven't had time to go and get it. But that put me in a mood. So I didn't fish. I had to go pick up my daughter from school anyway. Spring break is ending. My daughter's gotta go back to school. So her and my wife, we wanted to go do something fun, go get some milkshakes. So we headed down to Robert is here. Why is your camera? <laughs> Got some boiled peanuts. Hot. For those of you that don't know what Robert is here, it started as this small little fruit stand down in Homestead, Florida City, but all the way down there, all the way down there. And it's grown into this big fruit market that has amazing milkshakes. You know, I always get the strawberry key lime milkshake. I, I, used to get it when I was a kid when I went there with my parents so it's kind of that nostalgic feeling so every time I go there I always get a strawberry key lime milkshake and now my daughter she loves boiled peanuts so we always get some boiled peanuts and some milkshakes and then we walk around there's there's like a little petting zoo it's not really a petting zoo but you can feed like goats and emus and turtles and all kinds of things <laughs> I was like you. Give him a kiss. No. Give him a kiss. No. They did. What's up, bro? How's it hanging? Yeah. <laughs> it's a really cool destination if you're in town or if you're local too, just to go with the family. But we got our milkshakes and we sat down to listen to some good old music. This guy, he was a veteran and he's just there singing some songs for us, and we enjoy it every second of it. So my daughter doesn't like to be on camera, but I make her go on camera anyways, whether she wants to or not, so. Ask me that question again. Ask me that question again. What? She just asked me, are peanuts actually born in these? Like Mr. Peanut? <laughs> are they, guys, can you comment if uh, peanuts are born inside their shell? <laughs> My daughter. No me, No me, I don't speak Spanish, but I, I know it means something. These are boiled peanuts here. Robert is here. Can you open that for me? No. Can you open that for me? You <laughs> really did not open that very well. So you got some some crap on your fingernail. <laughs> Yo, what's this turtle doing? Wait, what are those turtles doing? Robert is here. Robert is here. Robert is here. <laughs> this is my weapon of choice today. Never used these before. I got them off of Amazon. They're like seven bucks. So I'm gonna test them out. I got the Cast King. I like to rig this way because it kind of caters to my style of reeling and retrievals. So uh, let's see if I can catch a fish. Let's see. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Oh, got to tighten a little bit. I'm on. Oh, it's strong, it's strong, it's strong. 
It's strong. Oh, yeah, baby. I know what this is. I know what this is. Little snook. Beautiful, beautiful fish. I love catching these things. All right, so the lure so far works pretty good. I'm gonna keep trying. But first, let's let him go and uh, get another one. All right, I just pulled over at one of the ugliest spots in Miami. Got my bait caster ready. Actually, let me just stick my keys. Ah, I'll hold them, put them in my pocket. Ah, walk over here. There's a pipe over here. It's a very ugly location, but sometimes I catch fish, so I'm going to try to cast across this pipe over here. Soft cast, because I don't have a lot of space. I'll let it drop down and work this thing back right across the front of that pipe. Oop. There's stuff flashing on me. Oh, 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 oh. Let's try that again. Right there in front. Right there. You'll be surprised what you can pull out of a, a spot like this. Oh, I'm on, I'm on. Oh, oh, guys. Tag a friend who catches stick fish. I was sort of hoping just to drop in and catch on my first cast, but it doesn't always work that way. But there are fish down here, so I'm gonna get something. I already know I am. There's something there. Come on. Oh, I'm on. I got it. I got. Oh, oh, guess what I got? Oh, motherfucker. What in the Jeffrey Dahmer is going on here, guys? What is this? I mean, literally, what is this? Ah, once again, I think that is some Santeria stuff. But man, they got those big knives in there, too. And like a metal cauldron or pot. But I see the beads and everything, so I'm sure... They did something to the saints and some kind of prayer or something for the saints. So I'm not sure exactly what, but we're, we leave it alone. We let it be. And I'm going to cast this out and try and catch a fish. You'll never guess what. Never guess what. Well, you guess. Another snook, baby. Another snook. One of the beauties of living in Miami is you can go pretty much anywhere and there is a large variety of species of fish to catch. So right now I'm in South Dade and you've seen I've already caught snook. And this is all I'm using today. The little swim bait on the bait caster. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the episode because I'm sure having fun. If you live in South Florida, you know all about what I'm about to show you guys right now. But if not, take my advice. You definitely need to try it. I just dropped my daughter off at school and I uh, went to a Reconcito over here in, um, where are we are, Cutler Bay. Have some colada here. Got a couple empanadas and uh, some croquetas I'm gonna eat for breakfast. Gotta get out. There's my baby. Uh, she's an old truck, but I love her. Time to uh, tear into uh, some uh, Cuban food. Hey, mama. Hey, mama. Ah, puppy got a, a diaper on because, um, well, she's on her period. Came home and there was like a murder scene. There was just blood all over the floor. <coughs> it's pretty disgusting. So these, these here are little ham croquetas. Eat them here all the time in Miami. This is actual empanada. It's, this one is with ham and cheese. But you know, you get them with you can get them with ground beef and chicken and spinach and cheese and stuff like that. They're delicious. They got Colombian ones that actually have like meat and potato in them with uh, like this picante sauce. Phenomenal. And I always gotta finish it off with a, a colada. Usually they have little cups and everyone shares them. I have to drink a whole one by myself like this. What I like about these is 
they're already made, you know, so I can just go up to a little window, order, and I'll be out in a couple minutes. I don't have to wait for food to be cooked. And they're delicious. Put a little hot sauce on them, whatever you want. It's great. Not every morning, you know, I still like my scrambled eggs and bacon and stuff like that too, but for a quick breakfast, can't go wrong with some croquetas and some empanadas. Mm. You're in Miami or South Florida. You gotta try these little things. Well, not if you're here, if you're visiting here, because pretty much I think almost everyone who lives down here has had these before. Mm. Oh my God. Dr. Kalbeck is the one that's gonna be doing the surgery on my knee. But right now, I gotta go get blood work done to, uh, I guess, make sure everything's cool for me to go under anesthesia and uh, to get sliced up and whatnot. So uh, that's it. I'm on my way to go draw some blood. And uh, yeah, this is, this is fun. And how many of y'all out there are afraid of needles and like donating blood and stuff? For me, it's like, the blood doesn't bother me. The pain doesn't bother me because it's extremely minimal. But just the thought of it, you know, once it's in and I'm watching the blood come out, I'm, I'm perfectly fine. It's just the anticipation of the needle, you know? Is this gonna be a, a gentle nurse? Are they gonna manhandle my arm and pop through my veins and all that stuff? I'm already scared. I got a little dot here, but it wasn't that bad. It never is. It's always just the anticipation that, that really messes with people. I mean, I guess if you got a weak stomach and you see the blood, some people, you know, but that's not me. So I got the blood drawn. I was actually in and out pretty quick, a lot faster than I thought. I thought I was gonna have to wait a long time, but uh, now I get to go fishing again. And that's all that matters. So how about we finish up this video with a nice big fish? So I literally hike all the way over here, across rocks and stuff, down probably a good half mile, quarter mile, not a half mile. And the first thing that happens is this guy drives through, cleaning up the canal, messing up and fucking everything up. All right, even though that guy just drove by, I'm gonna give a couple casts here. The water is murky and muddy as hell right now. Lost my living room door. I don't know how that just happened. I have to have a broken eye guy here somewhere. And that was a soft cast. You saw there was no, no uh, bird nesting or anything on that. The line just really, the second it started to come out, it snapped. Throw a worm. That way, if I do break off again, I'm losing something cheap. Not a freaking nice door. That was my favorite living room door, too. Uh, well, jerk bait. But. It is what it is. Always sucks when you have uh, technical difficulties. I've never fished over here before. I just saw it. Figured, you know what? Let me try to figure out how to get over here. But it looks pretty fishy. It looks pretty fishy. Now, if I snap off on this first cast, that's it for me. Soft cast. Just let it drop down. I think there's a ledge right here. It's a man made lake. Oh, whoa, there are actually peacock bass here and they were swiping at my, my worm, which is not really what they do. Interesting. I think this is landlocked. This is landlocked. So the fact that there's bees in here, huh, I might have me a spot. And I play soccer. The only thing before that is take care of my family. 
you know? But soccer, fishing, fishing, soccer is interchangeable, but soccer is really what's in my blood. Fishing, I love it, it's in my blood, but just something about sports and being competitive that I, I can't let go, you know? I know I would've got those fish if I had a swim bait on. I just was under the assumption that there's just a, a bunch of large mouths here, but apparently there's other fish. But yeah, I get to go next week. They're gonna put me under, and I think they're going through the back of my knee. Should be a pretty quick recovery, I, I hope, fingers crossed. Because I don't feel like being down and out for that long. I see a turtle here. If I don't get a fish on the worm, I'm gonna swap it out to a swim bait, because it looks like everything is that I'm seeing is not a large amount. And a large round will hit us one base too if we're out there. But getting a knee surgery done quickly because I'm actually going to Scotland very soon. And I wanted enough time to rehab and do the physical therapy so that I can walk normal again um, for my Scotland trip. And fingers crossed, I'm going to try to fish there. And if I do, I'm definitely going to film it. I was supposed to film fishing in Croatia, but <laughs> on that trip, I tore my calf muscle. So I couldn't walk, go on the boat, so that sucks. But uh, so the only foreign country I fished in has been Mexico, which was in Cabo, which was absolutely amazing. The fishing was incredible. And I know a lot of you out there know that Cabo is an amazing fishery. It's got sailfish, marlin, Mahi, snapper, rooster fish, like just all kinds of bucket list things that I want to hit. Yeah, all I got on me is for swim baits, so those are no life bait needed, so I'm gonna just try and use a three inch one of those. So we'll see how this goes. One mistake I did was uh, I didn't bring my fishing shoes, so I'm actually wearing newer shoes and getting them all screwed up right now from the uh, from all the weeds and the stickers and stuff, so I'm gonna have fun taking those off later. <gasps> Holy shit. Shit. Oh shit. Alright. I have to dip this rod right here. Right. Yeah. I don't know where it went. Get to the corner, maybe. It was a nice bass, really nice bass. But yeah, right now. Get up the camera, Evo. Damn, Evo's uh, not letting me show you. Oh, oh, oh! I'm on. I'm on. He was in there. Guys, guys, I'm coming over here to land it. Oh, Woo -hoo -hoo. come on, come on. Oh, come on, baby. Get out of the crap. Get out of the crap. Oh, come on, come on. I'm not letting this snap off. It's too heavy to flip. Too heavy to flip. Holy crap, guys. Oh. Holy crap. Holy crap, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Look. I told you I saw a nice bass. I told you I saw a nice bass. Look at that one. Let's get a good grip. Look at that, baby. Look at that. That's a chunk. That is a chunk. I tell you right now, that was worth every bit of getting these stickers all over my shoes for that fish. That's the biggest bass I've caught in about two or three years. Why? Because I don't really target them that often because I got so many peacock bass, but I absolutely love targeting them for that chance of that big slob little lunker like that. Now I wasn't a world record bass or anything, but for down here in a pond like this, that's a damn nice bass. 
man, I'm, my heart's still going because like I said, I don't catch them like that very often. So uh, that's exciting for me. Oh, that was exciting. I thought I was gonna lose it for a second because he was pulling a drag up through the weeds and stuff. And sometimes when that happens, they when they turn back, it loosens up the hook. Not today. He, he went, I guess when I saw him, it went inside the culvert. So when I dropped straight down, it was a little, a little opening like this big where I could drop it down into the culvert in front of it, I just felt weight. And then when I set the hook, it just, uh, it just started running. That was beautiful. Love it. That just made my whole day. That made my whole day. You know, I'm stressed out because I got to I gotta have surgery. I gotta figure out how to get more content up while I'm not able to walk or drive for a little while. So, you know, trying to do the Monster Mike channel, I, I, I'm, I'm still responsible for making sure that the content goes up over there as well. And this was a random, I wasn't even gonna fish today, but I figured, you know what? I got all the stuff in the truck. Might as well throw on a lure. There you have it. I hope you've enjoyed the chaotic last couple weeks of my life. You know, um, the previous episodes, it was me dealing with my truck, still getting out the fish, but you know, just dealing with life stuff. So basically what you're going to see on this channel is just going to be my, not everyday things because I got a lot of stuff to take care of and I can't always film, but you're going to see a lot into my life, my family, the things that I do and lots of outdoors and lots of fishing so if you do like that content and you do want to support the channel please hit subscribe and smash the notification bell because i would greatly appreciate it and hit that like button and drop some comments you know it could be good or bad i really don't care if it's bad i could give two craps if it's good you know much love but until next time guys i just want to always remind you to keep your head up and keep moving forward and tight lines Zzz.